everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. So I mentioned yesterday that Stuart and I have the day off work today. So we're going to be going um, doing some Christmas shopping. We've got a few bits um, that we need to get. Um, I need to get myself um, an outfit. I'm going to a work sort of Christmas event and um, I don't have time to really make anything. So um, I'm deciding I'm just gonna try and maybe buy something that I can wear for, um, it's like a corporate sort of like Christmas lunch and everything. So it's kind of like sort of quite formal, uh, sort of like smart formal really. So I need to get something for that. Um, a few Christmas gifts, bits and bobs like that. I need to get my work Christmas, um, my work secret Santa gift and things. So I've got some ideas and uh, yeah, just have a nice day just wandering um, around the shops. So before I uh, get going, because we're gonna be leaving very soon, um, I'm gonna open my number seven advent calendar. Actually, I'm wearing the lipstick um, that came in day one. I don't know if you can sort of see. It's got like a sort of gold shimmer to it. It's really, really pretty. I'm also wearing my um, eyeshadow and um, bit of eyeliner that I got from my um, friend uh, who has the Tropic um, stuff. So yes, I'm wearing all of that today. Okay, so let's have a look and see uh, what is in there I'll turn it around again so what I've done is number one was here so I've just kind of turned it the other way around so it's kind of blanked out so number two is here so yeah let me have a look and see what is in that one oh ooh, we have got it's a lip glaze nice I've got two lip things in a row it's lovely. Look at that. It is again sort of gold shimmery. That's so pretty. So look what is it called? It is called Luna. Isn't that nice? I might actually um, take that actually out with me and if I need to top up I can maybe just do that. Let's have a look at it. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. That's really pretty. Lovely. Oh, that's a brilliant day too. I'm loving that. I do like like lip glosses and uh, lipsticks and things. So I'm really happy with this so far. So there we go. Um, so I will take you along with me um, in whatever I do. Maybe just get some pictures of some like, you know, maybe Christmassy shop windows or something. And uh, yeah, I will speak to you a little bit later on.
Hello! So we are back from shopping. We've been out more or less all day. <laughs> so it's just coming up to five o'clock now. We've just walked in um, and I thought I would come on and say hello again to everyone. So yeah, we headed out um, in the morning. We've probably left here probably about sort of just gone nine o'clock, I think. And um, we stopped off. I had a, a chai tea latte and a cinnamon swirl. Stuart had um, like a like a toffee waffle latte um, at Starbucks um, as we headed up to um, the shopping mall. We went to um, Blue Water, which is kind of near Dartford, uh, Kent sort of way. And um, yeah, we got there, we had a look around the shops, did some shopping. I tried to get um, some footage of anything like really Christmassy because uh, I thought you might like to see kind of that aspect um, of the shopping rather than just kind of seeing a shopping mall and just rows of shops and, <laughs> and things like that. Um, and then we stopped and had some lunch, which was really, really nice. Stuart had like a steak and um, like shrimp and I had a lobster macaroni cheese, which was so yummy. There was so much of it, I couldn't finish it all, um, but it was really, really nice. And then we just kind of finished off um, doing like our sort of shopping bits, and then yeah, it takes us just over an hour um, to then drive home, so I, yeah, I drive home, and uh, yeah, here we are. I'm ready to get snuggled in front of the TV, I think, very soon. Yes, feet feet are a little bit aching <laughs> after doing lots and lots of walking. But I thought I would come on and actually just share with you the stuff that I bought when I went shopping. Um, I didn't get absolutely tons, but I just kind of thought it might be nice to share what, um, what we got. So where should I start? Um, I think I'm going to start with um, the things that I picked up. Um, I picked up some bits from Primark. Now, I do know that some people, you know, maybe not don't want to shop at Primark, you know, for sort of ethical reasons, things like that. I personally shop at Primark because it's affordable um, to me. I don't like to spend a lot of money necessarily on ready to wear. I tend to buy sort of lower price items or items in the sale when I buy ready to wear. Um, I prefer to spend money on when I make my clothes and, um, you know, have nice fabrics and things like that. So whatever your view is um, in regards to Primark, I totally respect everyone's view. But my personal um, view is that I don't mind shopping there because of budgets. But anyway, um, the things that I got at Primark. So we did actually get a couple of gifts because um, Stuart wanted to get um, some jumpers for um, his granddad. Um, so we thought oh, we'll just get a couple of bits there for him. So the first one that we got was this jumper. So I thought quite nice and traditional um, with grey with that sort of cream stripe on there. So that was the first one. So that's going to be um, his granddad's Christmas present along with we got um, him as well a fleece, which is this green one here. And um, it's really nice um, and soft, really nice and fleecy there and uh, it's reasonably sort of quite light sort of lightweight as well so um we thought the color was quite nice speaking of color um i'm actually in my bedroom at the moment and you notice i've got a bright red wall uh, my sewing room has a bright green wall <laughs> uh, me and stuart do like color um we kind of have like plain other walls and we like to have like one bold um, sort of colour. So in the sewing room we've got a green wall, in the bedroom we've got a red wall, downstairs we've got um, our wallpaper on like one um, side of the room but then everything else is sort of like cream just to kind of um, even it out a little bit but I can appreciate from this view it might just look a bit like wow that's a lot of red but if you look at the rest of the bedroom it's very cream. <laughs> um, anyway sorry I'm getting uh, sidetracked. Also there was a couple of bits that I picked up for myself um, in Primark, which um, two of which I've just bought for myself for now, and then um, one thing which um, Stuart's going to give me for Christmas. Now, when I do shop in Primark, very rarely do I actually, this is going to sound very strange, uh, shop in the women's section. I usually shop in the men's section um, at Primark, just because if I go into Primark, it's usually for like basics. Um, and things. I don't really tend to go in there for sort of like, you know, trousers, dresses, things. It's usually sort of 
t-shirts, you know, jumpers, that sort of thing. Because I find the sizing is just totally weird um, in Primark for me. So um, yeah, I quite often just buy the men's things because I just find that's easier. I mean, for instance, the hoodie that I'm wearing, this is from um, Hollister and I picked it up ages ago in one of the sales because it was an extra small men's hoodie and um, it fits me absolutely perfectly. And you'd never know that it's a man's hoodie because it's fitted, because it's an extra small men's one. <laughs> So yes, that's my uh, top tip. Um, if you can't find anything in the in the women's section, have a look in the men's section. So I picked these up from the men's section um, of Primark. So the things that I got for myself is I got a jumper. I got this one, which is this stripy um, cream and um, sort of silvery grey, um, sort of like knitted jumper. And so this is a size small and it's quite oversized still. So I think that's going to be really nice um, and cosy. And I just think actually the colours, because they're quite soft, I think they actually look quite feminine. So um, yeah, I picked up that one. Um, I also picked up a pink one as well, because obviously men wear pink as well as women do. Um, and again, this is, uh, well, this is actually a medium because they didn't have a small, um, but it's quite a fitted one. So I thought that would be quite nice, just a nice pink jumper. And it's a very sort of like, um, you see it's kind of like ribbed on um, the raglan part of the sleeve. And then for the rest of it, it's kind of ribbed the other way, you see there. So I thought that would be quite a nice one. And then the present that um, Stuart's going to give me, uh, so he's going to give this to me for Christmas, is um, I bought myself a hoodie and a pair of joggers. Again, I know that I could make a hoodie and a pair of joggers, but do you know what? I, again, I just don't have the time to do it. I'd rather focus my sewing on things that I really, really want to make using like the fabrics that I'm sort of excited about. Um, so yes, I picked up these. So it is, again, you know, this is from the men's section and it's quite, you know, it could, well, I would call it quite a feminine color, this sort of like purpley sort of color. And um, yeah, I thought that would be really nice. So I got a hoodie. I got it in a medium just because I want this as like a lounge set. So I want it to be quite slouchy. So picked up that hoodie. And then also I got the matching joggers and they didn't have any other size apart from a small, which was fine because a small is a 30 to 32 inch waist and I'm a 30 um, inch waist. So I thought, you know what, that should be fine. So I picked up the matching joggers to go with that. So Stuart's gonna give that to me for Christmas as my nice little lounge set. So I'll probably um, end up wearing those sort of on Christmas day all sort of nice and cuddled up. <laughs> and then the other things that I picked up, so we went into, they've got like a lint shop there. And um, they have all like the little sort of lint um, chocolates sort of in like little, well, sort of baskets, I guess, just kind of like sections. And um, you can do like a pick and mix and they do flavours which you can't get like in supermarkets and things. And I mean, it's not cheap, um, but I kind of thought, you know what, I wouldn't mind trying some of the flavours. So um, you could get eight chocolates for £3.50 which I thought, you know, is a nice little treat to ourselves would be nice. So I picked four and Stuart picked four. And um, yeah, we just popped them in a little bag and they put them in this uh, nice little wrapped up package there. And yeah, it was £3.50. And when you got to the till, they gave you some free chocolate just for buying something. So I was like, that's amazing. So we got free chocolate to eat there as well. <laughs> so we've got some of the different flavour, um, sort of like Lindor's which are kind of like balls of chocolate and on the inside it's like sort of like really soft chocolate they're they're very very yummy <laughs> and uh, so the flavors we got here i got like a pistachio one i got like a hazelnut one a caramel one there's like a mango one um i think there's like a coffee one um i can't think what else there was I can't really see what else they are um, oh yes an amaretto one so mm, yum can't wait to have those so those are the little treats that Stuart and I um, treated ourselves to <laughs> 
And then um, I mentioned um, earlier on um, that I wanted to pick up potentially a dress to wear for a work event next week. And I saw these two dresses in New Look in the sale and um, I, I got them both <laughs> because I think I know the one that I'm going to wear, but they, they both just, I thought, looked really nice on. So I picked them up. They were originally, I think, £28 each and they were both in the sale for £16 each. So I was like, yes, I will get those. So the first one I saw um, was this one. So it's a green sort of, I would say it's kind of like a viscose crepe. I think it is. I'll have a look and see what the composition actually is. Um, but it is this one. So it's just kind of quite a plain dress, sort of gathered skirt, um, not too long. So it comes just um, sort of like above the knee. And my plan was to wear this with leggings. So I've got some like black leggings that have like sparkly sort of bits in. So I thought that would then give it a little bit, you know, of interest um, on there. And I mean, yes, it does look very, very plain, but I think it looks really nice sort of when I was wearing it, when I tried it on. And the cuffs, um, they're um, all like shirred as well. So I thought that was really nice. So yes, that was the first dress <laughs> that I picked up. Also because it's green, I thought it was a bit Christmassy as well. Um, and seeing as it is like a sort of a Christmas sort of dinner, I thought that'd be very nice if I just kind of, you know, zhuzhed it up with some accessories and things. And then the other one, um, which, do you know what, it is a really nice fitted dress. It's quite similar to that one, but it's um, this one. So it's black background um, with blue flowers. And again, it's kind of um, just above the knee. So again, I, it would be something that I wear with leggings. Um, I don't like to wear dresses um, that are sort of, much more sort of above my knee than yeah not not much really without wearing leggings under them um and because I thought I'm going up to London it's going to be a bit cold I kind of thought you know what I could wear leggings and a dress because then that'll keep you warm <laughs> I don't want to have like bare legs or just kind of wear you know sort of thin tights and things so I thought that might look quite nice um so yes this one, very similar. It doesn't have um, like the shirring at the sleeves, but the sleeves are elasticated as well. And this is a viscose. Um, it's very, very soft. And um, it's also got um, a high sort of, um, sort of shirred neck as well. So it's stretchy. So I thought that was quite nice. And this one does look really pretty um, on. It just really like flows really nicely. And I really liked the fit of this dress. So I thought this one could be a contender. So yeah, I got that one and that one to just kind of pick between which one I want to wear. And then yes, I did get some accessories to go with the dress. And so um, I went to um, accessorize. Um, they were doing three for two on their um, accessories. So I picked up some jewellery. Um, so I first off saw this necklace, which is kind of one of these like multi-layered ones. I don't know how well you're going to be able to kind of see that. Um, but it's kind of like gold with these sort of multi sort of layer like necklaces. And I just thought that would be really nice to kind of, if I kind of, show you kind of see there i kind of thought yes that kind of makes it a little bit posher <laughs> so um yeah i thought that would be quite nice just to kind of you know break up sort of like the plane and also it would go with that um floral one as well and then i was trying to look around to see well what else could i sort of pick up that would uh, match with that so um, I got some of these um, like sort of bracelets. So again, it's like a multi um, thing of bracelets and they are slightly stretchy as well. Um, so I kind of thought they would be really nice. Um, I do like a stretchy bracelet. <laughs> I don't like the ones that kind of move around, like, you know, you kind of almost kind of push them up your arm. Otherwise they're just always, you know, kind of dangling down and risk falling off. So I do like a stretchy bracelet. So I thought those would be really pretty. 
and then also I wanted to get some earrings. Um, I'm not a massive one for like really big earrings. I don't mind like big sort of like fun earrings, just, you know, when I'm dressing like really casually, like big flowers or something. But when I go sort of out, out, <laughs> I, like, I like to do something maybe a, bit, a little bit more subtle. So I picked up these. Uh, so these are little sort of dangly ones with a sort of gold disc and a little pearl. And I picked those up because in the um, necklace there is a little pearl. So I thought that would match up really nicely. And because I've got kind of quite a big sort of like long necklace, I'm going to have really sparkly um, sort of bangles. And I thought just those little earrings would just be nice and subtle. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing what I picked up. Uh, let me know if uh, if you like any of them, <laughs> and also which dress as well. Which one do you think is the is the nicer one? I suppose maybe I could wear them at some point, show them off to you, and then you could maybe tell me which one you like. That might be a good idea. Uh, it's, as I say, it's next week. It's next. Thursday I think so maybe over the weekend maybe like tomorrow or Sunday maybe I'll pop them on at some point and give you a little twirl and um, you can tell me which one you think looks the nicest <laughs> okay so I will uh, see you a little bit later once um, I'm probably gonna open up my advent calendar in a couple of hours so I will see you back uh, when I do that <laughs> Right, so now I am in the sewing room, which means I'm going to be opening my next day on the Pink Door Advent calendar. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, so, yeah, we've just been chilling out um, this evening. We've just uh, been watching a bit of TV, me, Stu and the cats. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've been watching Netflix. Um, we've just finished off um, the latest series of The Crown. We've been watching that for quite some time. Um, just the whole sort of seasons and things of it. So uh, yeah, we've just finished off that. Um, and I think we're going to watch Wednesday, I think next, which is also on Netflix. Um, I've always loved things like The Addams Family. So I think I'm gonna really enjoy that one. And I keep hearing everyone bang on about how good it is. So um, yes, we need to watch that one next, I think. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look inside the Pink Door Advent. So we are looking for day number two, if I can find that, oh, it's a big one, day number two, and we've got little baubles uh, on there, if I can get it open, <laughs> it is, oh, bless, that's so sweet. Oh, it's a make your own felt hot chocolate Christmas decoration. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. Oh, I could do that as one of my little projects in front of the telly. Oh, yes. Because I'm trying to, I'm just finishing off a few cross, um, cross stitch projects. And yeah, maybe I might move on to that one. I wonder if I can get it done before Christmas. I'll try to, I, real, I will uh, really try to, but I love that one. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you so much, Andrea, if you're watching. That's absolutely amazing. I love that. <laughs> okay, so that is another day of Vlogmas over with. <laughs> so um, yeah, I will catch you tomorrow, which will be Saturday. So yes, weekend. Um, don't really have anything planned. Potentially might try and do a bit of sewing if I can. We'll see. Uh, but yes, I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.